Hi and welcome to another C tutorial. In today's tutorial we're going to discuss basic arrays. Now what is an array? A array is basically a collection of variables of the same data type. We also need to um, specify the size of this array and how we use this array is basically we use the array name together with the square brackets and a number inside the square brackets to work with individual values in the array and then one last thing is we need to remember that the indexing of arrays start at 0 until size minus 1 so if the size is 4 our indexes will be 0, 1 and 2 and then lastly 3 so if the size is 4 0 to 3 would be our indexes so let's quickly go and create a quick example. So normally when we declared variables, we would have said int variable semicolon, but now we're going to create an array. So let's call this ARR, and then we're going to define this as 4, and then semicolon. That would be then an array of type int and a size 4. What we can also do with arrays is we can go and define um, or initialize them individually, each um, index value individually. And we do it with the equality operator or the, sorry, the assignment operator. And then with the curly brackets, we can then say 4, 1, 8 and 2, for instance. So now each value or each index um, of this array has a value and that would be index 0, 1, 2 and then 3 and then we end off with a semicolon and if we want to go and work with specific values of the array we need to go and say the or let's say index 0 is equal to then and then we can just add a percentage D to display it and we can say ARR and then index 0 and we can go and do this for all okay and then we can go and display index 1, index 2 and index 3 we can just add a nice new line so that each uh, printf is displayed on a new line and if we run this, you would see that index 0 is 4, index 0, sorry, I didn't change that, it's 1, 8, and 2. So if we just want to make this example more complete, we would have said index 1, 2, and 3 then for the last 3. And if we run this, you would see that index 0 is 4. That is correct because there's 4. Index 1 is 1, 8, and then 2. So that is just how we use basic arrays. If we want to use arrays as well for input, we can also say printf um, and say input number 1 and then semicolon and then we can do a scan if and this is as we have done in the past we say percentage d and then we need to do an ampersand sign and then arr and then we need to specify where so that would be zero and then we can continue and do a number of inputs if we want to so input two would be at um, array index one and then so forth and then afterwards if we've got all our input we can display and say index zero is equal to percentage d new line and i'm just going to say arr zero and then that would be our first input that we retrieved from the user and this would be our second input and then if we have a one now if we run, run this you would see it's going to ask us 
to input a number. So the first one is going to be a nine and the next one maybe a two. And we can go and display it. Index zero is a nine and index one is two. Now the other nice functionality that we may have in um, arrays is also to initialize all the values in the array, for instance, to zero or just the remaining values. So what we can do is we can just say um, four and one, and then we can end off with a zero just to make sure. But we can also leave that out. So if we run this, you would see everything still works because um, we don't have to initialize everything. And then if we go and copy and paste in this to index two and three, two and three. If we run this program now and we say nine and three, the rest would be zero. So if we initialize the first two, the rest is going to be initialized to zero. Then what we can also do is we can just say everything to zero and that would initialize everything to zero. So if we quickly do this and we just comment out this input and we run this, you would see that all the inputs are zero. And this is how we implement basic arrays. Now this is exactly the same when we would do this for floats or for doubles awful character and that's it that's basic arrays what we need to remember is that the indexing the indexing of arrays start at zero until size minus one and here we can see it clearly when we define the array the size is four but our indexes run from zero to three and that's it thank you very much for watching until next time